Hi, I'm going to show you how to load and run R in an HPC environment as part of this course that has multiple programming languages for multiple centers focused on using the HPC 2N cluster called Kepnekaise. The goal of this session is to find the module, the software module that we need from our cluster, to run R, a specific version of it, um, to load it, to run the R interpreter, so we can type R commands, to run the R command to get a list of installed R packages and to run an R script from the command line. So an overview is given in this figure where first we're going to find an R module using module spider, we're going to load an R module using module load, this is exercise 1 and 2. Exercise 3 is using the R interpreter, we're going to start it, we're going to stop it, we're going to say hello, we're going to see the list of installed packages, we're going to load the package. And in exercise 4 we're going to run an R script. So finding an R module that differs per uh, HPC center, how to search through that is all documented here. Um, what you do on HPC 2N or actually in all the other centers too, just you type module spider capital R and then it looks something like this and then you'll find the R versions available at your HPC center today. Um, if you need a specific version, if you need to look for a specific, or it gives also more information, you do module spider r slash and then that version. For example, module spider r slash 4.1.2. And what you then get to see, for example, is to load it. In this case, you need some modules before you can load this. You need to load this too. So to load this version of r, you need to load these two modules first and then this one. To load an R module then goes like, as we already just seen uh, earlier and just above here, you do module load, then the prerequisite models that the, we've just learned from the help from module spider and then R and slash the version. For example, like this module load gcc slash version open mpi slash version r slash version when we've loaded the module we can start the r interpreter r is an interpreted language so that means if you type it some code it will interpret it and run it for you uh, we're going to start the thing we're going to say hello we're going to see which packages are installed we're going to load a package and we're going to quit the interpreter. So starting the R interpreter, um, you do this simply by typing capital R uh, case matters here. So I use capital R and the R interpreter is started and it looks like this. Like you see a lot of about the version of the R interpreter and how you can quit for example. And then this bigger than sign is called the prompt. This is where you type stuff and enter to make them happen. So we are going to do a, a trivial R thing and we do only do trivial things because we are on a login node. When we log in to our favorite HPC cluster, we are on a login node and this is shared with many other users. So if you do heavy calculations on that shared computer, all the others, all the other users will be affected. If you need to do heavy calculations on Kepnekaise, then submit that calculation as a batch job. So a trivial thing we can get away with is printing the text hello world. This is a regular R and this will be the output. To see the list of installed R packages, use installed.packages, round brace open, round brace close. Loading an R package library and between round braces the name of the package and to quit you do quit and, and then the function call operate. You will get this question just say no until you know what it is. So when we have started our interpreter and closed it we may also want to run an R script directly. So here we're going to run an R script directly you do that by using R script capital R lower s and then you, with the space, you type the name of the script file. So if your script is called hello.r, you run it using rscript space hello.r. 
Again, these scripts should only do lightweight things because we are on a logger node. All right. Here we are at the exercises. I'm just going to do them and check if the answer is correct. Um, find the module to be able to run R. So I'm here on Kepnekaise. I do module spider R to find out which R modules I can pick from. Oh, these are all the versions I can pick from. Well done. That matches the, um, the answer. So now we're going to load the module to be able to run R. For this module we recommend to use this version, so on HPC 2 and I need to use 4.1.2 and we no need to load the module 4 for that version. Well, 4.1.2, it's indeed there. So first we need to find out how to do this, so module spider there. And it says to do this you also need to load this first. So I'm going to do module, load these two things that I need. And then here I'm going to add R. And now I've loaded R version 4.1.2. While this is a load, oh, it's done. Uh, yep, this is the, the same thing. Now we can use the R interpreter. So we need to start the R interpreter. Well, that's just capital R. And there we have our R interpreter. Here we see the version, which is correct. We've just loaded it. This is the nickname of that version. This is all great. And I can type stuff here and R interprets it. In this case, this is a nonsense thing. We're going to check which packages are installed already. Um, that is installed. It even does with tap, it does uh, tap complete. And now I find all the packages that are installed. It's not as easy to navigate uh, because my font is too big to have it nicely. And uh, I know we'll be using parallel soon. Let's see if, it's, if we can already find it. Yes, this is the library, the package we'll be using. It's there. And that's exactly the next step. Load a package, load a parallel package. So that is library parallel. Uh, let's do it, spell it correctly. There, library parallel. If you like to do this instead, it does exactly the same. All right, um, this is all nice that I'm in R now. Um, yeah, but it's also time to uh, quit the interpreter. I'm not going to save it, whatever it is. And now it's time to run an R script. This exercise is uh, we need to get an R script and then run it. So here is the command to download the R script. So I click on, on here on this copy button. I paste it here. And now it has downloaded the script we're going to use called hello.r. I can show it on screen. This is this is all its content. Uh, you see it's not impressively much, but it is an R script. Um, and now we need to run it. Well, that's just using R script and then hello. And tap those auto complete, and there we have just run a trivial but an R script. Exercise five is a bit of when you have time left to download and extract the, the tarball with exercises. So I have, for example, this script was downloaded, and this is just one single script. Um, we have a tarball with exercises that has all the other scripts in this course. Um, in this session, is this can be found here. It's documented here. And there is a video on that too. There. So I don't need to do this now. Instead, I'm going to conclude that we have showed you to work with R on an HPC cluster. In this case, Kepnica is a bit as a general thing. We first need to find a module to run R. We need we, we need to load it. We've done that. We've used explicit, explicit versions uh, of the module we've used. Uh, like a specific version of R. We've used the interpreter and we've done something trivial with it and we quit it. And we can run R scripts using R script. There are some things that are lacking from this session is that because as we work on a login node, we can only do lightweight things. And later in the course, we will learn how to submit a batch job to be able to do harder calculations. 
Also, we've only used the R package that came installed with the R module. So we have seen a list with R packages that are installed. But if you need even more packages, there is a module for this. You do need to do module load and then some name to get more R packages installed for you. Also, everything we have done is from a global environment. So this means if you install packages here or delete packages or whatever, um, it will change everything. Uh, with an isolated environment, you go in an environment, you work there, and then you leave that environment, and then you can start another one, and they work independently. But again, these will be discussed in the other sessions. So that makes me conclude this session, how to load and run R in an HPC environment. In this case, it was Kepnikaise. I wish you a very good day. Bye.